Okay, we know how to trade trend. Trend is really easy to spot entries because what we're going to do is we're going to buy retracements when the trend filter is in an uptrend and sell retracements when the trend filter is in a downtrend off these big red, blue, and green market profile levels. In fact, at daytradingthefutures.com, if you go to the videos, guys and gals, we have three ways to buy in uptrends and three ways to sell in downtrends in all markets off these volume profile levels. So make sure you look at that. We haven't done a video on how to trade range, and I want to do that this morning here. So if you want to know how to trade uptrends or downtrends, we do have two videos on that. And uh, play that at uh, recent videos, and Gerald posted those on our website. How do you trade flat or range markets? This is our trend filter right here. This magenta MA moving average. Moving averages we don't use for crossovers, we use them for trend direction. And if it's flat or horizontal across a chart and has no angle at all, which it's flat this morning, the market's going to be in a range market. And if you're in a range market, you're going to buy the low of LVA, the green volume profile, and sell the high of HVA. So look how market profiles contain the market today. They sold the high of HVA almost to the tick, and they bought the low of LVA just a second ago, right there almost to the tick. This is a brick wall down here. This is a brick because they have three times profile. The most important one are these volume profiles because those are green, solid green, solid blue, solid red. And then we have price profile on this black chart, these small little dots. Price profile has been around since 1985. Volume profile has been around since 1994. So for 32 years, these guys have been calling the swings in all markets. So those are the two main profiles on the black chart. On the white chart, we have a, what's called developing profile. And the developing profile does not have a control point like the black chart does. Control point, the blue line the most volume is traded in any instrument at that time. But it has a high value and it has a low value. So if you look what the market's doing, the market's rebounding right from 42.75. Now I educated traders yesterday and last week and, and the week before on how you can buy right into the brick wall. So you can have a limit order right in at 75.76, right at 75.76 without even having market delta turn positive because it's three times market profile. What does that mean? I got my volume profile, which is a solid green line on the black chart at 42.75. That's one time confluence. I got my price profile at 42.76. That's two times confluence. I got my developing profile on the white chart at 42.75. So I got 42.75, two times confluence, 42.76, one times. Add them up, that's three times confluence. That's called a brick wall. So you should be filled at 75.76 on this trade. The first push up to 86, sell half the position, try to get to the other side of market profile. You can buy and sell brick walls. Brick walls are three times confluence. Okay, so if you look, what happens, what's happening with the market up here, it fell from three time brick wall up here at 42.95 at volume profile, price profile, stack, over top developing. Developing profile was 93, or 95 at the time, I'm sorry, 95 because it was higher. Right here, this is the high. That was 95. I had 95 over here on the volume profile, and I had 90 on the price profile. So you can see you could sell with the limit order right at 94.95. You typically want to go one tick to two ticks less than the profile and one to two ticks higher than the profile down here to buy. So if you look, this is three times stacked area on three of my profiles match within two ticks for a short there and it called the high perfectly. And now on the brick wall, it did the same thing down here on the brick. Brick walls three times confluence. And it caused a range there. So in a range mark, you can see what they've done. They bought the low and they sold the high. So what happens in a range when it's flat, that's what you want to do. You want to avoid the control point here, though. 
avoid the blue control point, the most volume traded in a flat market. What you want to do is avoid the middle. Avoid that. Buy the low, sell the high. Then what's going to happen is, is the market's going to form what's called a symmetrical wedge, typically almost all flat range markets. When it forms a symmetrical wedge, what we want to do is we want to look for a breakout then. We'll look for a breakout. Then we'll look at a value outside of HV or LVA. Then we'll look for a retest. And then we'll try to get long. So that's a flat range market. If I pull gold over here next to it, gold is in a trend market today. Very easy. We just had a huge buy signal right here. Look at that beautiful buy signal. That was two times stacked area with the Fibonacci dot. So it's beautiful right there. That is a beautiful long. Why buy? Why are we in a buy bias? Because look at our trend filter. Our trend filter is angled up. So what you want to do, you want to trade off the blue line now. See over here, the trend filter's flat. You want to avoid the middle. You, want to, you don't want to trade the most volume that's traded off the control point. You want to buy the low and sell the high until she breaks out, which typically is a third test of it. You let it break, retest. Well, here that we just had a beautiful, gorgeous buy on gold at 57.40, Beautiful buy on gold because of what? It hit the control point. You're allowed to take on uptrends, look at the angle of the trend filter. You're allowed to buy LVA. You're allowed to break retest control. And you're allowed to break retest a high value up here again. So that's the difference between trading trend and trading chop. Chop is crude this morning. It doesn't mean you can't trade the markets. You just got to be smarter than your average trader. You can't trade the middle. You got to avoid the middle in range markets. You sell the outside and you buy the outside. Fortunately for us, we have three really nice indicators that tell us where to buy and sell this morning because they were both three times stacked area. Three times brick wall called the high there and three times stack called the low here on crude. Both within one tick of each other. So that was gorgeous. Now we'll wait on crude for it to break outside of value, retest, and you'll try to get a breakout and see if we can get a nice runner. Okay? Versus gold, it's not a flat market. You want to look to buy LVA, and you're, you can trade off the control point, this blue line. Break, retest, had a beautiful buyer there at 57.30, and she cranked all the way to HVA. So that's a trend versus chop. Two different ways to trade. Chop gets you into a wedge, and a symmetrical wedge, where trend is basically just break retest, break retest, break retest to the upside. Very, very simple method.